All right, today we're going to be reacting to Will any addressing the Mr. Beast allegations? It's a return of Twatty. I'm excited. Let's get into it. Right, hello, my friends. Welcome back to this week on the internet. Uh, after 1,084 days, a global Jeez. pandemic, and um, a completely unrelated personal tax bill, it's back. If you're not familiar with this get series, basically the clue's kind of in the name. Every Monday at 8 p.m. on this plush new armchair, we're going to be walking you through and kind of keeping you up to date with everything that's going on in the online world. See, I'm I'm so excited about this because Twy was, you know, back in like 2016, 2017, 2018, Twy was I loved it, man. It's one of my favourite series on YouTube. Will and he's he's always been putting out good content, he, you know, and Twy being back, it's just it's great. I'm I'm so excited to find out. Now, uh, if you're a veteran of this series, I know you I will be doubting uh, the weekly part. But fear not, <laughs> uh, because over the last few months, we've been hiring a team of experts and all uh, to help us with the researching and putting everything together. So hopefully, uh, not hopefully, you know what, definitely, we're going to hit our schedule Let's every go. single week, Monday at 8 p.m., be there. Here's all the socials. I mean, are uh, we going to be reacting to each one? Probably. Every single one. We're going to be reacting to. So, uh, <clears throat> The title. Uh, it has turned out in the last few weeks, I've been done for fraud. Man pays <laughs> off mortgage by selling fake Mr. Beast merchandise. This is this is a real article, by the way. Uh, it started oh, off on the trusty news website Lad Bible, and then it's made its way onto like other news very outlets. Very it reads: A man has made enough money to pay off his mortgage after selling fake Mr. Beast merchandise, which even got a thumbs up from the man himself. So, uh. The story here, right, is recently we made a short going on and pretending uh, whilst I was filming I that this last is quite, to touch private this jet is funny, video that I'd made fake Mr. Beast merch and that I was going to sell it. Now, my <laughs> friends, I made a fatal error here uh, and forgot that the average YouTube shorts user is a f Neanderthal. So the whole joke of this, right, was supposed to be yeah. that Mr. Beast's website is called shopmrbeast.com and I'd made shopmrbeats.com. Now, when you go on shopmrbeats.com, this is what you get, right? I thought I'd made it obvious enough. I even put the most outrageous Shopify earnings I possibly could. Wrote How? Uh, sarcastically, <laughs> this is 100% legitimate information. Please check the aforementioned URL for proof. Well, the majority of the audience on that short were American. Over a week. Um, so I'm assuming aforementioned was probably just too big a word to understand. But <laughs> uh, my, fr my friends, it goes on. The article then goes to say, even though the merchandise is fake, the money it makes is very much real. And Will and A made hundreds of thousands from selling the gear. Now, uh, Mr. Writer Joe, uh, I can confirm here and now, uh, the only effect the gear has had on my bank account is a negative one. Right, that's no way that is. <laughs> that's no way. Is, um... Can't be, can't be making jokes about drug use, Will. Perfect. Moving on. Now this week, a McDonald's in Wrexham has been increasing its efforts to deter the local youths by playing classical music, uh, which probably uh, now makes it the poshest restaurant in Wrexham. A Welsh brand of McDonald's has started this playing is the classical thing music Definitely and do it like and stuff as well. in a bid to deter antisocial behaviour. Oh, yeah. Is that Beethoven Symphony Number no. Six? This one, like, lads, let's go Five Guys instead. And then apparently, uh, McDonald's said, we are aware of antisocial behavior affecting the wider See, but area. It, it works and for us. A number of measures in our Wrexham restaurant to support the police in tackling this issue. See, it works though, because um, in Sutton, you can't go on is it McDonald's or KFC on the Sutton High Street, right? Um, you can't do it after like 6 pm if you're, if you're a teenager for some reason. Um, but like the classical music, it just relaxes you, it calms you. It's like I'm, you're less likely to kick up a fuss. Obviously, I don't. I'm very well behaved. But you know, like antisocial people, they they'd be doing that. These include playing classical music from 5 p.m. GMT so, yeah, 5 and turning right. off the Wi-Fi at certain parts of the evening. They were then quizzed on how they were kind of like curating McDonald's the Wi-Fi. You, got, in order you can't to get rid of that, man. Desired psychological effect on their customers, to which they replied, "It's easy." We just borrowed it from the McDonald's surrounding Eaton. Okay, moving on, my friends. Uh, in more important news, apparently, uh, the price of a wham bar these days is 61p. How much Horrendous. Is George I'm Michael a, will be turning long, in his grave. I don't purchase wham bars. I don't know how much it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> moving on. 
Uh, in news that this 70% British audience will not care about, uh, Tom Brady. He's retired again, uh, but that's not yeah. the story here. Uh, because oh. this lass, uh, called Caroline, she then went to the exact yeah, spot that he sat in and bagged up the sand he was on. That's now, smart, our friends, uh, that same sand currently has a bid for $99,000. Anybody else um, getting flashbacks? It does make you think, like, what's next? Like, where does this Jeez. end? Like, are people going to sell grass Messi's walked on? Or, like, a, a ball Tiger Woods has hit? Or, like... Needles. Yeah, I've seen some Armstrong's people, used. right? All right. I've seen some people uh, when LeBron got the point scoring record for basketball. I've seen some people on eBay. They put up the air from the stadium. <laughs> They're selling the air. It's ridiculous. It's gone so far, man. But it's like, I mean, make your bread, man. It's it's dope. Uh, next up, uh, this week, a TikToker called Nick. That's gonna get me in trouble. Posted this screenshot of a tenancy agreement where her landlord is trying to charge a goldfish two hundred dollars upfront, then fifteen dollars a month landlord to live in the flat. Man. <laughs> I heard he's actually taken sixteen deposits because uh, the goldfish uh, keeps forgetting that he's paid it. Uh, it's, uh, it says here. Yeah, oh, I think it's worth noting uh, restrictions. <laughs> No aggressive breeds. Does he know it's aggressive like, breeds of fish? It's not, it's not exactly going to be like walking down the hallways. I dread to think what he charged our pal Tizzy. Uh, in other YouTube-related news that will make you feel old, uh, Cody Coe's now married and oh. PewDiePie's having a kid. Congratulations, Mr. Kielberg and Both Mr. Uh, well, Coe. Uh, moving on, this week in sport. Uh, I haven't really thought of this as a section, but we could do it. Uh, yeah, this do. week, as we gear up uh, for the yeah. return of the Formula One season, we have seen some uh, car launches. We've had Alfa Romeo, uh, we've had Williams reveal their That's new car. Uh, Red Bull year. then bucked the trend and just posted a picture of last yeah. year's car. But I think every single Red Bull car, right? So this is a bit off topic, but every single Red Bull car since Infinity left in like 2014 has been the exact same thing. It's just the rate of change. It's been the exact same livery. It's pointless. Most notably of them all is if you look close on the Hass here, it's got a Palm Angels sponsor. The uh, Hass I'm is not nice. sure what's going on That's over nice, there. Man. Uh, maybe Gunther Stein has just picked himself up a crushed velvet sofa, uh, a neck tattoo, and maybe has an elf bar habit that he can't seem to kick. But it's an interesting move. In other uh, sports-related news this week, we found out that Man City have been breaking financial fair mm. play laws. In other news, uh, the sun nice. rose this morning and we're expecting it to set later this evening. The Manchester club have been charged by the Premier League. You can't really say that though, Because <laughs> he, support he supports Newcastle, you can't really like, have a go at City for breaking spending rules. That's, it's a bit... More than a hundred times for breaches of its financial rules following a four-year investigation. City have uh, apparently strongly denied these charges and then hired a lawyer who charges £80,000 a day. Uh, if it's that fella who got Benjamin Mendy, I'm sure they'll be just fine. I also saw an article, uh, the club are convinced that it was a past employee that have like oh. dobbed them in. Uh, I don't know about yous, uh, but my money is on a certain hair-dying Spaniard. That would Moving yeah, on, this sense. week also saw the launch of Hogwarts Legacy, the latest addition uh, to the Harry Potter it. universe. It's expected to be one of the biggest games of the year. Ooh. I'll, I'll be honest, right? I have never watched Harry Potter or read the books. I'm not. I've never. I don't like it. <laughs> is, that, is that controversial? Probably. Uh, it's set about 100 years before Mr. Potter and his mates were kicking about. And in it, you take control <laughs> of a, a fifth year student at Hogwarts. <clears throat> Clue's kind of in the name. Me in the first 10 seconds of Hogwarts Legacy. Anything off the trolley, dears? Oh, sure now, I looked into this, um, and, and apparently you can't just go around like Avada Kedavering students, um, which is oh. a shame. I wanted Moaning Myrtle to catch a fat Crucio. Um, just downloaded Hogwarts <laughs> Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen streamers have been getting streaming it because JK Rowling's an asshole, which I get because it yes. like contributes to her resources and she's an asshole and she could use those Sorry resources to be an asshole. Loads. But she's a billionaire already. So yeah. it does make you wonder, should we just not let people have fun? Yes. She's an asshole though, just confirming. Yeah, I, just, I want to reiterate that. 
J.K. Rowling, no, I do not condone her views at all. <laughs> In other news, a Chinese food blogger has been fined nearly 19 grand for uh, eating a great white shark. Um, so this is Tizzy, oh. uh, and here she can be seen buying, uh, bedding, and grilling uh, the the big fish. Um, it doesn't really. It's, it's just a small. Who would want to eat it? Not that great of a, a thing. It's the same size as a small Asian lady. <laughs> um, now, there's been a lot of controversy about this, right? Look, obviously, you shouldn't hunt and kill endangered yeah. animals. But I'll be honest. Great white sharks are endangered. I'm kind of on her side. If you're going to eat any endangered oh, I animal, I think it's maybe a little bit fairer to eat one that would eat you. Yes. Yeah. Like, if it can scran us, I think we should be allowed to scran it back like them sharks. Anyway, I think a Good lot of the point. controversy comes from, like, she's kind of bought this shark illegally, like, off the black market, which makes you think, how the do you become a shark dealer? Surely drugs are a lot easier. Um, I've got a, I've got a good joke about this. Would you like to hear it? Oh. Uh, I've heard uh, they've actually confirmed there's a documentary being made about the Pablo Escobars of the exotic fish world. Mm -hmm. They're calling it Sharkos. <coughs> okay, uh, moving on. So <laughs> this week we also have the Grammys. Now I'll be honest, I don't really care. I just want to show us what Madonna looks like now. Gee. Hell, uh, honestly, I think there are probably more natural ingredients in an elf bar than in that woman's face. In news that will upset garden gnomes. This joke's really Somebody's pinched all their shoes. Uh, uh, sorry, we're running out of things, right? This is the first episode of the show. Call happened this week. A brand called Mischief have released some big red boots. Ew. They cost 300 quid. Uh, and they're, they're inspired by anime character Astro Boy. Um, You've got to be part of the sex offenders registry, surely, if you, if you, you buy them. I've got nothing to add of value. They're quite cool. Are they 300 quid cool? Probably not. No, no, they're not cool. Moving on. Prince Harry. I'm sure you've all heard. He did an audiobook recently. Oh. Horrible to listen to. Um, and there's a bit of where I've he talks about snippets. losing his virginity. I suspected he was referring to my recent loss of virginity. Ooh. Inglorious episode with an older woman. She liked horses quite a lot and treated me not unlike a young stallion. Quick ride, after which she'd smack my rump and sent me off to graze. Brutal. Uh, this here Jesus. is a girl called Sasha Walpole. That's the woman. She's come out and kind of like given her side of the story. No, I think this is a bit harsh on Sasha, right? Like yeah. this supposed older woman. Like the way he talked about it, I was expecting like older woman. She's Denise Welsh. She She's two that, years right? older than him. Uh, yes. Anyway, um, that's, that's not what she had to say. Hi, I'm like. Sasha Walpole. I'm here to tell my story in my words. I am the lady that Prince Harry wrote about in his book, who he lost his virginity to. I've got to say, it's kind of a kind of a weird vibe to start with. It kind of like feels like she's murdered someone. Anyway, yeah. apparently uh, they were just normal mates who went to the pub, played polo, uh, the fox hunting, you know, the stuff we all we all did. She then yeah. says uh, it was a shock to her know, that Harry was a virgin. Someone. I didn't know Harry was a virgin at the time. Um, it wasn't until probably the next morning when I actually thought about it. I was a bit, oh no, not because of him being a prince. It was just the fact that I'd slept with one of my friends and it was Harry and, um, yeah. But then it kind of dawned on me that perhaps he was because obviously he'd never really had a girlfriend, I suppose, that I knew of. He was literally a 16-year-old ginger. Uh, now, my friends, I've got another, I've got another zinger for you. The alleged romp happened on the 21st of July, 2001. Uh, <laughs> And I thought the only ploughing oh. that got done in fields was done in November. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Fucking terrible. We can't leave that's, that in. That's, uh, <laughs> that's dreadful. All right, well, uh, thanks for that. Well, it's, it wasn't a big fan of some of the jokes, but yeah, it's enjoyable. I'm glad, I'm glad Twatty's back. 